If you have been around here for a while, you know that I tend to record a lot of screen recordings or screencasts as part of my YouTube videos. And I usually use ScreenFlow to both record and edit those screen recordings. But in this video, I wanna share six shortcuts with you, six quick tips that are gonna help you create professional looking screen recording videos faster. And these will work whether you use a Mac or a PC or an iPhone or even an iPad. And heads up, this video is sponsored by my friends over at Envato Elements. Now, one of the types of YouTube videos that I really like to create on my channel is a tutorial sandwich. And one of the reasons I like to create those videos is because they are relatively quick and easy to create because I can batch record multiple videos, just the talking head part, just the intro and the outro with my hair done and my face done. And then the screencast can be recorded in my pajamas. So a screencast or screen recording video sandwiched between a talking head intro and outro is one of the quickest and easiest types of videos that I think you can create on YouTube. Now, that isn't one of my six shortcuts I'm gonna share with you, but I wanted to mention it because I also like to use screen recordings as B-roll in my YouTube videos. So B-roll is usually thought of when you take a camera and you record some extra footage so that your videos aren't just you talking to the camera the whole time. You can show what you're talking about, right? show, not just tell. Well, in some cases, using screen recording for your B-roll makes a lot of sense. But if you have a lot of things to point out on screen in various places throughout your video where you're using that screen recording as B-roll, it can be a real pain in the butt to scrub through all of that footage to find all the all the places, all the things, all the things you wanted to point to or point out in the screen recording. So shortcut number one, record short screen recording clips as your B-roll. So a shortcut for this is to just record the screen recording clips that you need. Short snippets. It could be three seconds or five seconds or 15 seconds. Whatever, whatever you need to record, record it in short snippets. Now when you're done recording those short snippets and you save those screen recording clips, then all you have to do is rename them for exactly what you're showing on that screen and then you can import them into your video as B-roll, wherever it makes sense to add them in. Now for shortcut number two, this is something that I just recently discovered inside of ScreenFlow, but Final Cut Pro has this too, and I think Premiere Pro has this ability, and this, this is a huge time saver. So let's say I'm editing a screencast and I had to zoom in and reframe the recording. This happens all the time for me. So to apply that same size and position to all of the other clips, I used to copy the frame size and paste it into all the clips and then go back and do it with the positioning. And I don't have to do that anymore. All you have to do now is just copy the clip, select the clip, Control or Command C. And then up here under Edit, you are going to see Edit Paste Properties. And all you have to do is select your other clips, go to Paste Properties, and you can paste the video properties or the audio properties or the screen recording properties. And that is all of the editing that you have done to the clip that you just copied. So if you have moved or resized your frame and adjusted the volume of a particular clip, you can copy all of those properties, all of those effects, and paste just those effects to your other clips. Huge time saver. Now, shortcut number three is screen flow specific, but I have to mention it because I'm pretty sure you can do this with other screen recording apps as well, if they're apps where you can actually edit your screen recording. So when I edit at a screen recording in ScreenFlow, I try to remember to enhance some of the details. Like sometimes I forget to do this and people let me know in the comments. But what I mean is I like to make the mouse a little bit bigger and add some effects when the mouse is clicked. You can change the color and you can also add the sound effect of a mouse click. It makes it easier for people watching my tutorial videos to actually see where the mouse is and see what I actually clicked on. So instead of going into every single clip and setting the size of the mouse and putting all the effects and the sound effect and everything of the clicks, all I really have to do is create a preset and then 
apply that preset to all of my clips. Now I've done videos before where I record the video on my screen or on my iPad, for example, to walk through a tutorial or something on those devices. And of course the screen on an iPhone and iPad is different dimensions than a YouTube video. So you could get a little fancy and add a background color or add some branding elements so that you're not cutting off part of the oddly shaped screen that you have in your 1920 by 1080 YouTube video or this is where Envato Elements comes in. So you could download a mock-up image. It's a still photo, a still image, and it could be of a phone or an iPad. Maybe you do a flat lay and then put your recording over top of that. It's going to be a professional photo. You can change the size. You can make it look however you need to and adjust your screen recording to fit so it looks like it's on the phone or on that actual iPad. Now there's a ton of images that you could use for this I really like flat lay images and there are some that are designed to literally be a mock-up where there's there's stuff there plus you have the iPhone or the iPad but there's also individual images of an iPhone or iPad that you could then insert into whatever image you find that you want to use as the background and just layer them together and then put your screen recording video on top of that. And one really cool thing about Envato Elements is you pay monthly for unlimited use of any of these images that you find and download, plus background music, stock videos, lower thirds, graphics, animations like literally so much more. It's amazing and you save half the price when you use the annual option too. So make sure to use the link in the description to take advantage of that. And big shout out and thank you to Envato for the sponsorship of this video. And while we're here talking about Envato elements, you can also download some animations like arrows and circles. These are video files that you download and then import into your screen recording editing project so that you can point things out on screen. Now as much as I love screen flow, it is kind of a pain in the buns to get your arrows and the colors and the animations right or to circle something on the screen. But with Envato Elements, you can download those elements and it's really quick and easy. It's literally a video file that you insert or import into your video project, place it on the screen, resize it, move it wherever you want it to go so that you can really easily point things out on the screen, which is really helpful if you're trying to be really specific about something in your screencast. Um, it's really helpful for your viewers to be able to see what you're talking about. My last shortcut for you is the one I, I've, I've been dying to share this and I don't think I ever have. And I have to set this up for myself again because it's been a while since I've done it. So you know how when you're recording a screen and if you record your whole entire screen, it's not the same dimensions as a YouTube video. So you have to either like zoom in or reframe or get it where you want it to be in your final video. Or if you just decide to record a portion of your screen, that 1920 by 1080, then especially if you're on a Mac, you don't actually record the menu area of the program you're in. And sometimes you need that. So here's what I have done. I found an image on Envato Elements to use as my desktop background. I uploaded it to Canva at the right dimensions for my screen. So using my settings on my Mac, I figured out what my screen dimensions are. And then I used a couple of elements here within Canva to create a sort of invisible box in the upper left-hand side of the screen. So I have just a couple little hash marks there. You can probably barely see them, but I know that they're there. And then I know exactly how to position and what size to make my windows for what I'm trying to record on the screen. And I can also make sure that my desktop is clean in that area and I don't have any icons and stuff in there. For an added extra, I don't know, zhuzh, you could also add your logo right there. So it's gonna show up in your desktop image no one's gonna care, um, but when you have it there, it'll be the background of your screen recording and it'll be just an extra little branding element. So we're gonna take this image from Canva, we're going to save it to our desktop, and then 
make it into our desktop image. Now I can set my screen recordings to 1920 by 1080. Make sure that they are tucked up in the top left hand corner. Record that screen. I've got the menu options right there and all of my icons are not being recorded either. So if you're looking for some cool desktop images to create this for yourself, I found mine on Envato Elements. So make sure you use the link down in my description to save 50% on that annual subscription. And if you like shortcuts, I've queued up my next video right over here for you on how to create videos when you don't have time to create videos. So I'll see you over there.